Hello everyone, and thank you for choosing Law Ruler. Today we're going to go over how to build an intake. Law Ruler equips and empowers you with the ability to build custom intakes that match your firm's workflow. Follow along with me as I guide you through that process. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is navigate on the left hand menu down to Setup. Once in Setup, we're going to go to the middle column and go down to Intake and Case Form Builder. This brings us to our Intake and Case Form Builder screen. The first step is to select the case type that you would like to begin working on. For this example, we're going to go ahead and work on the basic case type. Now that we've selected the case type, let's take a look at a few things that have shown up. To the right of the case type dropdown is a number of columns dropdown. This dropdown allows you to choose the number of columns that are available across. Law Ruler does set its standard to 4. What that means is four columns, which is the max, are located across the screen. So you can have name, number, email, and phone, for instance. The next section is number fields. Select yes if you would like numbers like 1, 2, and 3 to populate next to the corresponding questions in order. When you start working on an intake for the first time on that case type, it's going to populate a general tab called General Case Questions. We can change this name by selecting the pencil icon next to it. For now, let's go ahead and change this name to Intake Questionnaire. When you're done making your changes, simply hit the check mark to save. If you would like to create more than one tab to have questions in different sections, go ahead and hit New Tab. A pop-up will show up allowing you to name the new tab. Simply hitting OK will populate it. Now that we've got our tab named, let's go ahead and add some questions. In the first section, we can see that we want to pick an existing field. If you highlight over the eye, it'll tell you that existing fields are mapped to the caller data fields and are used to capture lead and client's information. The benefit of using existing fields is that if the data is already available in the caller details section, then it will show here as well. This is useful if you have a scripted approach for your entire intake that includes questions that are also in caller details, such as what is your first name or what is your email. So let's go ahead and select the first name from the existing field. Simply type in name and we can see here that first name is available. I can select that and then I'm going to go ahead and hit create field. That's going to create a pop-up with the field editor. Now I can rename this field to a question format such as taking first name to what is your first name. Now also let's take a look at the right of this and look at a few of the examples we can use to edit this question. Here you can see the field location. There are four check boxes here. Intake form and case form tell you where you would like this question to appear. If you just want to use it during the intake process, you could choose to only have this checked off. Or if you would like to use it for the case process, after the lead has already been turned into a case in our case management system, you can leave this checked off. If you would like it to show up in both, you can make sure to have both checked off, as is the default inside of Law Ruler. To the right of these are Intake Screen and Case Screen. These allow this question to appear on your Intake Details page inside of your client's information. For instance, we're going to go ahead and make this available on the intake screen and case screen, and before the end of this training, I will show you how that looks. Down here, we make sure that it's going under the right header. Remember, we created two headers, the intake questionnaire, as well as the new tab. We're going to go ahead and keep this under intake questionnaire. Below this is column width. Column width tells me how much of the columns I would like to take up. If I would only like this to take up one column, I will leave it at 25%, because remember, we have it set to four columns. 100% would take up 100% of the screen, 50%, 50%, etc. For now, we're going to leave it as a one column question. Below this is to mark field as mandatory or make it invisible to client, internal use only. These are used for when you're sending out e-signs to be filled out by your clients. This will mark the field as mandatory, not allowing your client to submit the questionnaire before this field is filled out. Invisible to client means that when you send the questionnaire, your client will not be able to see this. It will only be available to your staff members. Once you're done making the edits, go ahead and hit submit, and that will save your question and put it on the first column. 
There are many existing fields that map inside a law ruler, so before creating a custom field, make sure it's not one that already exists. Now that we've created an existing field question, let's go ahead and create a custom question. Custom questions are used when making fields that don't map inside of law ruler. For instance, let's say we want to know the hospital location as well as a summary of the surgery. We can create the field that best matches what the client would use to fill out. Since that's a lot of information, I'm going to go ahead and select the paragraph text. When I select paragraph text, it then opens up a new field label for me to edit. Here, I can create the question. So for this one, let's go ahead and write name of hospital and summary of surgery. Got everything filled out the way I'd like. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Now you can see that that paragraph field has been created. If I no longer want any questions to appear on this row, and I want to start off a brand new question on the row below, I must first take up the extra 50% remaining in this column section. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a label. Labels are used to format your intake properly. What you do is you simply create the field, remove untitled, choose the column width for the amount of space you would like it to take up. For this case, we need 50% filled up. And then go ahead and hit submit. That's going to create an invisible field that's taking up 50% of this section. So now when I create the new field, let's go ahead and create a new custom field and hit submit, it will go ahead and create on the next line down. Law Ruler gives you the ability to create many different kinds of custom questions. You can choose from the following custom fields to really make your question stand out. For instance, if it's a yes or no question, you can simply click on yes or no question and the formatting of that field will match the question that you're asking. You can see here, are you married? Hit submit. And that's going to go ahead and create a yes or no question. The same thing can be done with the following field types. Once my questions are created, let's say I want to move some questions around. In order to move a question around, we simply click on the question we would like to move, select the hamburger icon at the top of the question, and then drag it to where we would like to place it. For instance, if I want a test field to appear after Are You Married, I would drag and drop it where I'd like it to be. Now let's say I made a mistake in the spelling or structure of this question. In order to edit this question, I simply click on it, go to the top right hand corner, and select Edit. Once here, I can make any changes to this section that I would like. Once I'm done making the changes, I can hit Save, and those will save and update my intake form. Let's say I made a mistake and no longer need this question. I can also delete this question by selecting on it, going to the top right corner, and hitting the red X to delete. A confirmation will appear at the top of the page asking if you want to confirm to delete this page. We're going to go ahead and hit confirm to delete to delete this question. You can see here that our question on this page is now deleted. Once I'm finished making this intake, if I know I have the exact same questions for another case type, I can also copy these questions to another existing case type. Simply by clicking on the question I would like to copy, checking off the box in the top left corner, and going to the top of the form tab section. Here you can see copy move selected fields to. We simply select the new case type that we would like to copy the field to. And then once that's finished, we'll select the tab that we want to put it under such as general case questions, or for this one, this case type has two extra tabs. For now, I'm going to keep it under general case questions. Once I'm ready, I simply hit copy, and it will tell me that it's successfully copied on 3M earplugs. Before we end the video, I would like to show you how the questions we selected to appear on the intake and case screen show up. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and navigate back to Inbox, and we're going to look at Johnny Test, who is a lead under the basic case type for the intake we just set up. Here you can see on the Intake Details tab, under Basic Details, we now have those three questions that I mapped to show Intake Screen and Case Screen. 
This will allow you to show any custom questions on your intake details page. Keep in mind that you can always edit and remove them at a later time. And that concludes how to build an intake inside of your Law Ruler portal. As always, thank you for choosing Law Ruler. If you have any support questions, we are always happy to help. You are welcome to contact us by email at support at lawruler.com. You can also access our Law Ruler support forum at support.lawruler.com. For those of you who want to make changes to Law Ruler but don't have the time, let our expert staff do the work for you. We offer Done For You Consulting, a service that is billed hourly and available for your convenience. Please contact your account manager to learn more. Thank you again for your time, and from everyone here at the Law Ruler family, we hope you have an amazing day.